Hey everybody, welcome to week two of the Crow Sew Along. Today we're talking about wings and tail. And I've already made my wings according to the directions, but now I want to show you an extra level of awesomeness that you can include in your wings. And the way to do that is to cut or tear strips of a lightweight fabric. I have some taffeta from an old dress. It's pretty lightweight. Um, and my strip is about an inch and a quarter. And then I have insole, so it's about 28 inches long. It's probably twice as long as I need it to be, but that's what I've got. You wanna gather this strip so that it looks like this. And you can either do that by machine or by hand. The easier way to do it is on your machine. If you have a ruffling attachment on your machine, you can use that. Um, and if you don't, you can just do what I did today, which is turn the tension up to its highest and turn the stitch length to its longest and just run it through the machine. Once again, um, where's the one that's not folded? Once again, a little off center and backstitch every once in a while until your ruffle is done. Then you fold your ruffle in half and press it. And notice one side is a little bit shorter. So this is what I'm going to use to add dimension to my wing. So I've got my strip and I'm placing it at the lowest portion where I want the extra. And I'm going to start to stitch that in place along the edge. It's just a little whip stitch all the way along this edge. When I reach the edge of the wing, I'm going to flip this back the other way and stitch the edge again of the next row. And I'm gonna place that edge just about a quarter of an inch away from the first edge so that it looks like this. And I'm gonna stitch along here. My second row is stitched. I'm gonna do two more rows. So the next one, I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna flip it over and stitch along here. And that'll leave me room for just one more little tiny one. For the last row, I'm going to flip it over and it's going to go right along that top edge and I'm going to cut it off just past where it ends and I'll just tuck that underneath. So I'm just going to stitch along this top edge now. So here it is all stitched. When I tuck my end under up on this top row, I made a super sturdy knot. Um, and I love the dimension of it. I think it looks pretty awesome, but I think there's a whole nother level of awesome that we can get to with this. And what we're gonna do is give it a haircut. You can also attach this to your bird and give it the haircut after, but for the purposes of demonstration, let's just do it right now. And the haircut is just holding the scissors at an angle and clipping. It requires a little bit of bravery. <laughs> also, um, FYI, I can't really see what I'm doing right now, so yeah, there's that. I'm gonna get pretty intense about this clipping. We just wanna give it a more feathery feel. And the lighter your fabric is, the easier and more effective this will be. You wouldn't wanna do this with a really heavyweight fabric. I'm switching to bigger scissors. <laughs> It's pretty bold. Got to line the 
edge. I'm just going to clip into it. Finish up. I'm just making some extra little clips along the edges to get things pointier. You can do as much or as little as you want. I think that's pretty good. Check it out. Here's the crow wing. Super quick to make, but this took us 10 minutes. I love it. All right, good luck with your wing and tail. Bye.